everybody Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogtober so today is cooking day and I'm gonna be making for you bolinhos de bacalhau which are salt salted cod fish cakes they're a Portuguese recipe now the recipe I'm gonna show you is made in the Thermomix but I will put in the description box the method how you would do it if you were doing it without a Thermomix. Also, I'll be putting the ingredients on the screen for you guys to see. I won't be writing it down. It is a Thermomix recipe and I have to be careful with copyright infringements and all that. So try and follow along. And then if you are interested in doing, it should be really easy for you to pick out the ingredients from the video. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is add the onion and the parsley into the Thermomix. You are gonna close the lid and blitz that for five seconds to basically dice them together. If you have a food processor, you can do this in the food processor. Now you're gonna take the card and use a cloth to Soak up all the liquid. Make sure you want the cod to be quite dry and not watery. Once that is done, you are gonna add it to the thermal mix or, or to your food processor and blitz it again until it's fine, small chunks. And again, once that is done, it should look something like this. You want to scrape that all out into a bowl and set it aside. Now, the next thing to do is add the water and the potatoes to the Thermomix. You're also gonna add your salt at this stage. You are then going to set it for 15 minutes at 100 degrees on the reverse spoon speed. Go and make a coffee. When you come back, it will be done. You're going to drain the potatoes. And then you're going to put it back in the Thermomix and make it into mash. And that should only take about five seconds on speed three. Once the mash is done, you're going to add your large egg or two small ones. Okay. 
and then you are going to add your cod mixture. This is the time as well to add your pinch of pepper, then close it and mix it all together again. This should only take four or five seconds. And then your mixture is done and ready to be rolled. I really like flash freezing the fish cakes for an hour or so just to make them slightly harder, especially because the potato is still warm and so then they're easier to fry. But this is what you need to do to turn them into the shape that you traditionally see in Portugal. You just roll them between two tablespoons and then dump them. Now, like I said, you don't actually have to freeze them. You could cook them straight away, but I just find it they hold slightly better. And now it's time to fry them. I make sure the oil is quite hot so they bubble as they go in, as you can see. You put quite a lot of oil. Do not try and do this you know, with just a tiny little bit of oil because it won't work and they tend to soak up the oil if it's not, if there's not enough. So you can just put in a few. Be very careful with the hot oil. I have a bit of a pesto's fingers, but the oil will be very hot. I was actually making dinner at the same time making some potatoes and mushrooms and peppers on the side. I had a friend coming over for dinner. You'll probably see her feet. There you are, as she came through the door. You wanna turn the fish cakes. Once you see they're starting to get a bit golden, they're still a little bit light like this. But there you go. That one in the middle is perfect. And then you wanna put them onto paper towels to drain any excess oil. And then you can fry the rest or you can put them back in the freezer and just get them out whenever you fancy a few. I decided in the end to fry them all because they are lovely cold the next day in the middle of a sandwich. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and that you give it a go. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.